He has an innate ability to touch the hearts of people around the world. Welcome back to Get Connected. I'm your host, Con Jackson. One of my dream interviews is about to happen. We are going to be talking to Bishop T.D. Jakes live. His church is in Dallas, but yet his voice, his presence reaches around the world. And we are gifted because today he's going to announce his brand new show on BET called Mind, Body, and Soul. And T.D. Jakes, thank you so much for being with us. Are you going to reveal how you came up with your awesome presence on the show? <laughs> I don't know about that. I think, I think what we did was try to get a, a, a subject matter that suggested to people that we were going to deal with a wide range of issues. You know, uh, Some of it is going to be intellectual. Some of it is going to be heartwarming. Some of it's going to be athletics and eating and habits. And we're just we're covering life, uh, and, and and it's fun. It's, it's fun, but I also think it's going to be inspirational. You know, Bishop, in this new role as a host of the show, you're going to be asking questions. Why is it so important that we ask important questions of one another? Well, you know, uh, Con. Normally, I am the interviewee and not the interviewer. Uh, in front of cameras historically, but this is an opportunity because uh, after nearly 40 years of pastoral and ministerial counseling, uh, I am used to asking questions and I know what questions to ask when people are in low moments to help them, uh, not so much that I'm inquisitive, but sometimes questions help you sort through the, the attic of your own intellect and find those treasures that sometimes get shoved beneath the pain and the, the traumas of life. Well, Bishop, you've interviewed some of the most successful people in the world and are associated with so many of them. What have you learned about the quintessential qualities that have set them up for success? Uh, I think one of the qualities that most successful people have is that they're very focused and relentless, generally high energy people who go after their dreams uh, with tenacity. And I think that there are people on the street who have great dreams, but they don't understand the force with which you have to focus and the sacrifices you have to make to accomplish the things you, you need to, to learn. Conversely though, uh, Con, there are many, many successful people that lose normalcy. And, and so every gimme's got a gotcha. They lose privacy. They, they, they lose the, the ability to go pick out their own chicken wings. So e either way you go, you're gonna give up something if you go after it. You know, Bishop, I've known you with this tremendous presence, this gift to touch so many. But I know there had to be a tipping point in your career where you kind of learned to transition from a small congregation to really connecting with so many. What was it? You, you know, it, it, that's a huge subject I'm, that I'm still sorting through. I love people. I, I, I just do. I think it's the way I'm wired. I think it's the way I, I'm made. And I was really shocked that people got me like that. Uh, I think that was as therapeutic to me as any help I might have been to them, we helped each other get through this world. We really, really did. I mean that sincerely. And, and they gave me purpose and, and value and a sense of significance that I desperately needed. And if, I, in, if in the exchange I gave something back, then, then that's very meaningful to me as well. Well, Bishop, one of the things I really have enjoyed is watching you on Oprah's life classes and giving such great information. What have you learned from her? I learned a lot. Uh, it's not just, her, first of all, her interview style. Oprah has a way of relaxing you to the point that you forget you're on camera, <laughs> which is dangerous. Uh, so there's a lot to learn there. But I think that to minimize her gift to what she does in front of camera would be a great injustice. I think she's a tremendous businesswoman, a great thinker, has a, an ability to put her finger right on the pulse point uh, of business and career and leadership in a way that I don't think we have really tapped into the great business acumen and her sensitivities as much as we have her talent. Uh, so there's a lot there. To, to have interacted with Dr. Phil, uh, I learned so much from watching him. I learn every time I turn on a TV set or listen at a speaker or a poet or even a comedian. I learn a lot from comedians with stage and presence. I think you can learn something from everybody if you pay attention. You know, one of the analogies I want you to share with all of us and how you might have come up with it but is telling us how important it is to forgive because if we don't, forgiveness becomes like cancer within us. Well, you know, when you counsel people and you see what unforgiveness does to the person who holds it as opposed to the person, <coughs> excuse me, Carl, as opposed to the person who, 
who victimize them, you begin to realize that unforgiveness damages you. It hurts you. It, you carry it. You can't sleep at night. You can't digest your food. It's a, it's a weapon you're shooting at yourself. You know, Bishop, in one of those life classes on Oprah, you used an analogy of unforgiveness being like cancer. How did you come up with that? Oh, you know, man, uh, you got to have a center. Uh, you you got to have a center, and spirituality really is the center uh, for me that grounds me. A, a lot of the things that I see in Hollywood, people take it seriously. It's really just entertainment, and, and the people who produce it know it's entertainment, and they're doing it for dollars. Uh, you can't build your life around... Uh, a drunk housewives of Chicago. You know, you, you can't build your core and your essence around somebody who's purely entertaining you. And, and I wanted to add another option uh, uh, so that people could kind of, something in between preaching and, and massive entertainment, but thought provoking. I, I wanted to bridge that gap. I love what I do on Sunday morning, but I have to live Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday too. And, and I see life, all of life, and I want to talk about it in this format. I'm, I'm excited. I'm excited to see what people are going to think. I think they're going to really love it. Uh, I, I can't wait to see. I'm excited, a little nervous. It, it's, it's fun to be 56 and have something that gets you uh, nervous and edgy and prayerful and scared again. It keeps you, keeps you sharp. Well, it didn't take much convincing, uh, Bishop. I can't wait to watch your new show. I know it will touch so many lives, including myself. Thank you for being with us and continued blessings. Thank you, Con. Take care.